Hello, here's a new and short one about animations using Blender modifiers. Here's Blender 3 and I created a simple object that is based on quads. A quad-based geometry can be deformed without creating strange artifacts and you see here in the modifier stack that I have a subsurf modifier attached. Ok, so let's add a modifier for deformation and this is the simple deform. I set the type to bend and the axis to the y-axis. The center of the mesh is used as the center for the deform and now we can change the angle and the mesh is deformed like that. Alright, now how to animate this deformation. First of all I go to the timeline and activate the auto keyframe insertion. Make the timeline window a bit larger and then press the button auto key. The only thing you have to do now is to hover with the mouse cursor over the property that you want to animate, in our case this is the angle, and then with the mouse cursor hovered over the field, I press the I key. In the timeline you can see that the first keyframe for the angle is inserted at the first keyframe, and then when I adjust the angle it is stored in the keyframe. Then I go to the next keyframe, let's say 40. And again I change the angle of the simple deform modifier. You can enter a value or you just drag with the mouse cursor to change it. Ok, now go to the last keyframe, then copy the first one, just select it and press Ctrl and C, and then Ctrl and V to paste. The keyframe is added at the current position of the timeline playhead. And that's it, now you can play the animation. Ok, now let me show you one last thing and this is using vertex groups to animate just a part of the mesh. I switch to edit mode, first I double press A to deselect the mesh and then activate X-ray for the scene display and box select this part of the mesh. Now I add this selection to a vertex group. You find this here on the data panel where I add a new vertex group. You can rename it as you like and then press the assign button to assign the selection to the vertex group. Great, now go to the modifier again to the simple deform and assign the vertex group here to the restrictions. And when I play the animation now, you see that just this part of the mesh is animated. And that's it, I know it was a very short one, but let me know if you like these short tips that are straight to the point. Please add your opinion or any question that you have to the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on my social media and if you'd like to support me, join as a channel member. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one here on JNM.